Mario Leaf here with another pickups finds video. Got my coffee. Mmm. Coffee. Uh, this is stuff from the last couple weeks, I guess. <clears throat> from various for various systems. Uh, this one's a PC game, this first one. It's called Midtown Madness. Got this out of Value Village for a dollar. Uh, I love this game on the PC. I, I don't know. Sorry I got rid of it originally. It's one of my favorite racing games on the PC. An older one, but a goodie. Uh, put it somewhere. Um, one NES game. Uh, it's called Monster Truck Rally. And if you look carefully, right here, it says um, Intellivision Corporation. This game was made by Intellivision. I didn't know they made uh, Intellivision games. And I looked up a little info and apparently it's like stadium mud buggies stadium mud buggies for the television okay Genesis um, okay nothing special here but NHL 94 but right here it's got some kind of seal on it it says like limited edition I've never seen that on one of these Genesis sports games before I don't know if it makes that special, but it's complete. Oh. Uh, Bugs Bunny in Double Trouble. I think these were a quarter each at a thrift store. Complete. Wee Willy Winky intact. And finally, I've completed my Road Rash trilogy. Finally got the first one. Oops. Boxed and complete. So I was happy to finally complete the Road Rash collection. Okay, how about this? Plug and play paddle. I had one of these before, got rid of it, regretted it, and found another one for three bucks. And it's got the batteries in it already, so just having the batteries makes it worth it. Uh, the arcade version of Warlords is excellent on this unit. If you ever find one of those, I suggest picking it up. They're really good. Coco? <laughs> of course, how would I have a fines video without Coco? Here's a cart for Coco 2 or 3. It's called um, Mind Roll. Interesting little game. And this one I found in a VV. This is an old educational cartridge. Or, not cartridge, cassette game. Called Shape Maker. <clears throat> so i got everything in it. Oops, excuse me. Get out. There, cassette. So I finally have a cassette to try out my uh, Coco cassette recorder on. A kid's game, kid's educational game, but interesting nonetheless. Uh, Dreamcast. Picked up and found a few Dreamcast games. Uh, a lot of sports ones. Uh, World Series Baseball 2K1, uh, NFL Blitz 2000, Two th yeah, 2000. Uh, this one looks pretty good. It's called uh, Flag to Flag Racing, Kart Racing, like Indy 500 stuff. Uh, this one is really good. Virtua Tennis, excellent game. And uh, this one was sealed for a buck. Factory sealed maximum pool. Yeah, it's pool. But still, I like pool. Atari 2600. Gotta hurry, I'm running out of tape. Uh, I have all of these games, but I didn't have them boxed. So I picked these up. Uh, Plaque Attack. Plaque Attack. These are all complete in box with instructions. Enduro. Mr. Intellivision finally got a copy of this, but it's kaboom. And Night Driver. The bottom's a little smushed, but still good. And what else? Oh. Five dollars in a VV. Five bucks for a bare Nintendo 64. Just has the uh, cord and the AV cable and the little pack in there. No controllers, no games. But for five bucks, why not? And a bare NES too in the same store for five bucks. I like rescuing these things. 
probably have to fix it up. It's probably blinking to death, but I'll fix it up. And finally, for five bucks in a thrift store, a boxed Genesis 2. I've already opened it. All the goodies are down there. Came with a console, two controllers, NHL 94 and Madden 96. So, Genesis, five bucks. That's it for the finds for today, folks. I appreciate your time. Thanks, and have a great day.